good morning guys so today i am going to do the ring ring hair and ring like gender like test thing prediction thing i don't know the right like the real name of it you'll probably see it in the title of this video it's like a hair strand ring gender prediction thing <laughs> i don't know the real name real name the real title will be in the video so anyways <laughs> now that i've done rambling about that so i know you guys are probably like where's our 27 and 28 week update you guys i'm working on it um so what i'm gonna do is a 27 28 week update together because today I am 28 weeks in Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, three days, Sunday, Monday, yeah, 28 weeks in three days, but I'm waiting to hear back from my doctor because I got some not so good news, so I wanted to wait until I actually talked to her before I made an update, but if she does not write me back by Friday, I will make an update and have it up that day for you guys regardless if she writes me back or not. And then I guess I'll just update you with the big news on the 29 week update. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just waiting to hear back from her and I really wanted to hear back from her before I like made an update. Um, so just waiting to hear back from her, so there's that so anyways I just want to go ahead and do this test because we've been doing all these fun uh, gender prediction things so I think I'll do this one um, in this video and then I think I'll have one more video where I just answer like do you crave salty or sweet do you blah 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 so if you guys have any more tests go ahead and leave them down below because I'm like at a loss after the next two because uh, the second one is like a bunch of questions like are you carrying high are you carrying low is your hair dry is your hair not is your skin dry <laughs> like so I feel like that one's like a huge one and so if you have any more like other ones <laughs> go ahead and let me know so, and I'll probably add the Chinese gender chart one to the question one just because it's all like kind of this question-y stuff if that makes sense. So <laughs> anyways, I'll stop rambling and go ahead and get started with what I was trying to tell you and then we are going to do the ring hair strand challenge thing to figure out what the baby is. So let me get a strand of hair. Ow, okay. And you're supposed to take a ring. I would assume you take your wedding, wedding ring if you're married. Um, and you're just supposed to put it on the strand of hair. Now, I read a lot of like conflicting information. Um, so everywhere that I've seen, it says that if it goes in a circle, then it means a boy result. And if it is back and forth, it means a girl, but I've seen conflicting information. So we're just gonna go with that. So if it goes in a circle, it's a boy. And if it goes back and forth, it's a girl. Um, I was watching Karen's video from KK and Baby J. I'll go ahead and leave the link down below. Um, and she said the same thing, that there's a lot of conflicting information, but for that test, she was just gonna use those. So um, there's also another channel that I saw, it was like, a something mom's channel um and they said the same thing so i'm just gonna use that um, my friend katie actually did this on me a while back but i don't remember exactly all the results so i guess we'll see so what you do is you take your hair or take your ring and put it on a piece of your hair <laughs> you take your ring wedding ring and put it on a piece of your hair and you are going to go around your hand completely through each finger and then put it on top of your hand um, if it goes in a circle it's a boy if it goes back and forth it's a girl and when it is completely done telling you how many children you'll have it will just stop and you guys it really freaks me out because it does just that it just stops so I'm trying to hopefully get at a good angle to where I can get my hand so you might not see my face all the way so I can um, show you guys so here we go ready And baby number one is a boy. And that's true because Hunter was a boy. And it's saying baby number two was a boy. And baby number two was a boy, that's Keegan. And this is for baby number three. 
and saying baby number three would have been a boy. So that was our first miscarriage. So let's do next. And it is another boy result. No, so it's saying that our 12 week loss would have been a boy, which I told you guys all along, I thought it was a boy. So here we go. And what do you know? Another boy result. <laughs> so it's saying that our last ectopic would have been a boy too. I guess maybe I'm just a boy mom, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so let's see. So it's saying this baby is tell you guys that is back and forth that is a girl result you guys that is a girl result <laughs> okay and am I gonna have any more kids let's see and it's just stopped you guys <laughs> <laughs> and I'm actually going to attempt to do where you put it over your belly. So I need to find a way to put it up here. To see what it says for the belly. And for this one, I think it's just whatever it does the first time. So let me get a new piece of hair. You guys, I'm like as big as a whale. <laughs> so let me take my ring off again. It is starting to get a little snugger, which I told you guys, like I've never gotten it sized. So I've left it big for a reason, but it's starting to get a little snug. You just lay back and put it on your belly. <laughs> this is so uncomfortable, you guys. The things I do for you. And you just lift it up, I think. Okay, so that one is saying boy. Way, way saying boy. <laughs> you see that, you guys? Like, that's crazy. But I feel like the other one was so clearly girl. So I guess we have one and one. So one team, one point for the boy team and two points for the girl team. Have it, you guys. According to the ring, wedding ring, the ring hair strand test it's gonna be a girl so that is another point for the girl team <laughs> you guys i really don't feel like this baby's a girl like do you guys like i know a lot of you think it's a girl and i just i think i don't think it's a girl because we have so many boys you guys boys run my life and look at literally every single one up until the last one said boy so like could you imagine if we actually had all those babies we'd have like a football team full of boys <laughs> But anyways, if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and let me know which ones you guys want to see down below. Otherwise, um, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any of our Rainbow Baby updates. Also, um, make sure you follow us on um, Instagram. That's at Felicia Nicole. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.